This is among the many letters that the founding father of the nation, Mze Jomo Kenyatta, penned down while in detention here in Kenyatta House in Maralal. During his stay here, writing and receiving letters was his only way of communicating with the outside world. Today, you can send a letter and receive it using your telephone number as your mailbox address. Indeed, the digital revolution has sparked and the Postal Corporation of Kenya is shifting with the time. ICT is not only communication, but it's also um, goods, movement of goods across uh, di different regions, across the globe. And Posta has the mandate of being able to provide the logistics and the movement of goods across uh, the country and in partnership with the rest of the world. They are part of the Universal Postal Union, which has over 192 member countries or postal unions. And therefore, they have a very significant role to play on how our goods are going to travel from point A to point B in this country. And especially when you talk of the national transport backbone that they need to provide for logistics. I'm told last year they sent over 70 million letters very successfully. So they are, they are a strong uh, institution to be working with now. Over a long time, the Postal Corporation of Kenya has aspired to be the leading global provider of innovative postal and related services enhancing communication, distribution, transport logistics, financial solutions, and now that dream is closer to realization more than ever. To actually prove to you how effective the post office can be working with the government, is exactly what we did with the IBC. For the first time in the electoral system in Kenya, the government used the post office to clear every material coming in, to distribute all the IBC materials. And for the first time, it was seamless. It was the most e efficient distribution of IBC and electro materials since independence. The Postal Corporation of Kenya operates under a vast network comprising of 625 post offices managed under 10 regions whose overall goal is to improve penetration levels by expanding the network to meet the universal service obligation that requires one post office to serve 6,000 people. Uh, it is important at least on the onset to indicate that uh, mails contributes about 70% of the total revenue of uh, Postal Corporation of Kenya. Uh, the main revenue earner is uh, the private letter boxes and, and bags. These are the delivery modules of customers for them to pick their mail from different uh, outlets. And it's a service that uh, we charge customers on a yearly basis. The Office of the Ombudsman has a mandate to resolve complaints of maladministration that is poor administration in the public sector. If we receive just one complaint against a certain public office, then on that one complaint we'll need to send like uh, four letters at a go. So you can just calculate how many letters we send uh, and are being assisted to dispatch through the postal services. We entered a contract with the Postal Corporation of Kenya to help us manage our mail system. Remember this commission uh, makes decisions which have to be communicated to various people. So this partnership really is meant to enhance that speedy way of communicating, making sure that the decisions the Commission makes are able to get to the people for whom they are intended within the shortest time possible. Another product of the mails department is philately, which entails collection of different issues of stamps, both commemorative and definitive. Technology has come to also improve our services in terms of efficiency and, um, and being able to track. When you have uh, insured letters, for instance, you are able to track your registers. Posta Pesa is an e-payment financial solution system enabling different financial services in the wide network that Posta enjoys across the country, promoting money transfer in both sending and receiving through the post office. Through the years, Posta has partnered with various stakeholders such as Barclays Bank, Cooperative Bank of Kenya, Kenya Commercial Bank, National Bank of Kenya, and Diamond Trust Bank, among others. In Posta, we actually pride ourselves in touching the Kenyan lives. 
where our offices are located, like in Sindu, where we offer services to shopkeepers, to the fishermen, uh, to the petrol station attendants, and to the general public. Because there is actually no banking facility within the radius of 200 kilometers. Kuna companies ambayo wana to supply vitu na hawa pesa zao lazima walipwe na kulipwa hapa hatuna bank poste hiyo ndio bank yetu ndio tunatumia so wakileta bidhaa tunaenda huko wanawekewa kwa account zao ndio tumesaidika sasa hakuna kwenda mahali mbali kufunga biashara uende rudi baadaye customers wanapotea lakini kwa sasa hivi hakuna kufunga biashara poste is living life through the services that they offer like example, one of the services that I have talked about is the issue of uh, payment of fee by using money order. You know, this place is a little bit uh, uh, remote. There are certain areas where we don't have banks, but they are post office. So we advise the parent that they can pay the fees from those post offices. If you go to the other eastern side of Kenya, that is in coast Mombasa, where we offer services for Yahoo. Again, it's in remote of the areas where banks do not see a need to set up any brick and mortar or even microfinance institutions uh, to set up brick and mortar to offer those services. So we are actually touching lives on behalf of these institutions but also on the reverse, the people who are on the ground, they really view Posta as mama na baba. In payment services also in future, uh, we are rolling out a wallet, a Posta wallet that is going to be able to actually uh, offer the current services that are being offered in the market with other wallets. So you can be able to withdraw, you can be able to bank, you can be able to pay for your utility bills, you can be able to get money from your bank account. So the future, the future is great with Posta and that's what we are looking at. In Posta Courier Services, there are three main products, namely Express Mail Service, EMS, Posta Cargo, which entails clearing and forwarding of international packages, and branded Posta Parcel, which is ordinarily used to send parcels across town, counties, and globally. Organizations like World Vision in arid places as far as Maralal have preferred to use the services of Posta, saying that it is reliable, convenient, and safe. One of the key things about the post office is, um, of course, we have a very, very large network, more than any of probably even all the banks put together. Because of that partnership, we've, we, because of that network, we find ourselves in partnerships with um, pharmaceuticals, publishers, people who are actually manufacturing things in Nairobi and need those things to be distributed to the furthest end within the country. We have also partnered with uh, people that are doing e-commerce, again, because of the same thing. A lot of the students in the universities out of Nairobi are ordering things out of platforms such as the Jumia, and we're able to deliver all this to our post offices, to the last post office. And this gives us really a great edge in terms of our services. In the last sort of three years, we've come up with a new service, which is the Poster Cargo. And Poster Cargo is the clearing and forwarding. So actually what we're doing is, because we are KRA um, registered, we do have a license and we're able to clear containers and you know all manner of things, and then we forward them to the customer. Among the many partnerships that Posta Cargo has built is the National Oil Corporation of Kenya. Why we decided to go that route, uh, looking at the Public Procurement and Asset Disposal Act of 2015, uh, we are given a leeway uh, to acquire services from other government entities. Uh, we took that opportunity, engaged the Postal Corporation of Kenya, they sent us uh, an agreement we reviewed and finally entered into a contract. Uh, as of today, they are uh, doing our clearing and forwarding of goods and services. I think the post office is just um, ready um, to take on some of those um, deliveries and um, really make convenience for Kenyans. The Postal Corporation of Kenya is working tirelessly to bridge the gap between the young and old in the technological and digital space by introducing inclusive digital postal products and services. As ICT, it is our role to ensure that we provide solutions and systems that can change the, the, the organization culture. For example, 
ICT in terms of service delivery allows the organization to move from a manual way of doing things to an automated way of doing things. And, and that is why we, we in ICT have procured and in, implemented uh, systems that help our customers interact better with the organization and also our users who are the business units to be able to be efficient in, in managing their operations. With the digital revolution taking center stage, Poste Kenya has employed resources in automating processes through the Enterprise Resource Planning System, which fully integrates the front office and back office operations. What this means is that the corporation fully engages in paperless business enterprise and hereby consistently delivering sufficient and reliable services to its clients. For us as a country, we need to see logistics grow and expand in such a way that farmers across the whole country, if they need to sell their produce to anyone, anywhere in the world, it should be at the click of a button. So we are putting in uh, place regulations, we're putting in place policies that will ensure it is much easier and smoother for a poster to be able to do that. In this modern world, an organization is only as good as the value it impacts in the society surrounding its operations, and the Postal Corporation of Kenya has seen to it that its effectiveness is experienced across the country through the numerous corporate social responsibility projects. <laughs> na ila mtu sio mtu huko na maji mazuri ukianda pengine hiyo maji iko na ushafu na sasa tulifurahia sana kwa vile tulitibua hii maji as our mandate we must we must make people's lives better we even go further on our csr so uh, we are involved in tree planting we are involved in uh, boreholes in need areas uh, but our pet project which uh, is, is is close to our hearts is to help uh, children in Kenya. So what we have done is uh, we support the pediatrician uh, bay at the Kenyatta Hospital, which serves about 250 kids every day. And uh, we have made a playground for them. So we've made going to hospital not punishing, but something the kids can look forward to as they are, they are attended to. And it's a very favorite bay, and we are very, very, very proud of it. Postal Rangers Soccer Team is another avenue that the Postal Corporation of Kenya has continually supported communities by sporting talent, nurturing and providing employment opportunities within the corporation. Actually, Postal has touched my life as a person because first it gave me a permanent job which after football actually I'll have something to look at. With an increased support on infrastructure development and ICT by the Kenyan government, the Postal Corporation of Kenya envisions an increase in government business and substantive measures in increasing the uptake of its services and the embrace of dynamic growth in technology and the establishment of a national payment gateway for all public services. All the policies we're putting in place are to ensure the poster can then thrive and grow. It employs a lot of people, it's across the whole country, and we want them to be just as successful as some of the other mobile operators that we've seen in the market, so that you know, we can see the brand continue to expand.